Gentlemen, I won't waste your time. My name is Camellia Clostra. First Secretary of the Accordo Protectorate. You should know, we have Lady Luna Freya in our care. And the Empire demands we surrender her. What? Yet I am loath to acquiesce unless we stand to profit. Hence I've come to discuss terms with the King of Lucis. If you've a mind to talk, come to my estate. She can be oblique at the best of times, but I assure you, her heart is in the right place. Oh, okay. At any rate, you must be weary from your journey. Might I suggest you seek your beds for now and ponder matters anew in the morning? Yeah, I think we'll do just that. So, care to take a cruise? Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. I'm starved. Welcome back. Will you be requiring a room? Well, guess we need to go talk to Camellia. Yeah, like we have any other option. There's no telling how events will unfold. Let us prepare before making our way. Yeah, she can sit tight a while. I just feel like there's no point in going to work anymore. I don't know. Wes is a local through and through. You need help getting by, you ask him. Got it. He can be a little slick, but he ain't a bad sort. Reggie trusted him, and you can too. That the views have been 
better from a gondola. Hmm. It's nice to not have to kill anything. Yeah? There's supposed to be a scenic spot nearby. All the locals recommend it. Wanna check it out? Take some snaps? Well, if it comes recommended, sure. Yeah! <laughs> this is what a road trip's all about. Splendid. Where are we off to? Fantastic. Call when you need a ride back. Shop till you drop. Take a shot from here. Good call. Now it's picture time. Ready or not? the lighting. So someone caught the secretary at Mago again. She and the barkeep sure are friendly. There's got to be something going on. She wouldn't spend so much time at that place if there wasn't. Welcome, lads. Well then, how may I be of service? I can recommend anything on the menu. Sure thing, I'll fix it straight away. Oh yeah, here it comes. We've some troublemakers on our hands. Up to the task? You're always welcome here. Bet the view's even better from a gondola. <laughs> so, care to take a cruise? Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure.
Thank you for coming. No sweat. First things first. Thanks for coming to greet us in person. It's the least I could do for a king. Wescom didn't extend me an invitation, so I decided to extend my own. Though circumstances have changed, both the king and the oracle are finally in Altitia. You said that you have Luna in your care. Doesn't that pose a risk to your nation? Is the king concerned for our relations with the Empire? But it's true. The Oracle is a risk. One we are prepared to shed with. Whether we do so depends on you. Now let me ask some questions of my own. Why does the Oracle seek to awaken the Hydrian? She wants to forge a covenant so I can receive Leviathan's blessing. <laughs> the answer I wanted to hear. And yet, king or not, it can't be a simple affair for you to receive a god's blessing. Let me be frank. The potential chaos worries me. You know better than most what took place in Lucis with Archean. Tell me, what happened? I met Titan, and he gave me his power. Just like the legends, though the Empire doesn't like the way the story goes. Even as we speak, they mobilize their forces. It seems there's no avoiding chaos. It will most likely come to war. However, I don't care to host a battle on my soil. The gods and the Empire be damned. be a disaster if a battle took place in the city. Indeed. We must be prepared to evacuate our citizens. No doubt about it. We're in the midst of making plans, and it was to discuss your involvement in them that I called you here. Without further ado, let us talk terms. If you wish to hold the right, you must ensure my citizens' safety and aid in their evacuation. All right. I'll do as you ask. I'm pleased to hear it. As long as the people's safety is assured, I have no qualms with your right. And that is not all. Once the right has begun, I will not be accountable for what follows. You are on your own. Not a problem. We know how to take care of ourselves. Thank you. I'm sorry we cannot do more. But as I'm sure you are aware, few armies can stand against the might of the Imperial fleet. That is all for the terms. To review, you are to ensure our citizens' safety and engage the Empire. Do we have an agreement? All right. Let's fight together as allies. Allies? Such a vote of confidence. Well, you can trust us to do our part and keep the Oracle safe. A final warning, though I doubt it'll come to it. My duty is to my citizens. Should any harm befall them, there will be a reckoning for both King and Oracle.
All right. You do what you must for your people. You're just like your father. Thanks. You've made the right decision. Madam, it's time. Assign three of your own for the evacuation effort. Whom you choose is up to you. According to our intel, the Imperial fleet will be four warships strong. Steel yourselves for a full-scale battle. I'm glad we could talk. We can each act in our own interest to our mutual benefit. <laughs> I can't promise something I can't help. Of course. You certainly opened up to them, though. What can I say? I have a soft spot for the young and tragic. They've lost Regis. They've lost the crystal. Was it so long ago the last oracle was taken from them? We've seen the Empire go mad these ten-odd years. <laughs> 